What's up guys, Connor here with Barnes 4 Wheel Drive. Today we're gonna to talk about something that might seem pretty simple to a lot of you, but is honestly kind of confusing and uh, we get a lot of questions on the phone about it. So today we're gonna to be talking about misalignment spacers. So what is a misalignment spacer? What do they do? How do they know which one I need? Um, all these questions I'm gonna to try to go over for you guys and um, yeah, just kind of clear the air a little bit because a lot of times um, people will call us, right? And they, they don't know what they need, you know? And we kind of can help as much as we can, but like a lot of times if we don't have eyes on a rig, then um, then we don't know what you need either, you know, when it comes to bolt hole size, mounting width, all that stuff. Um, so I'm gonna try to explain all of that stuff to you in this video and uh, hopefully we can clear the air. So yeah, let's uh, let's dive into it. All right, so this is gonna be a pretty informal video as you can probably tell, but so um, I just wanna give you a good explanation of what's going on here. So to explain what all these guys are, you need to know what one of these guys is. So this is a Heim joint. Um, this is a 7878 eight Heim joint. Um, these are a very strong joint and they typically go in something like this, which is called a tube insert. Um, so a tube insert is gonna weld into the end of your tubing. And once I get it off here, we'll just look at the Heim joint. So tube insert welds into the tubing, um, Heim joint threads into that. And um, a lot of um, racers use these, a lot of um, guys with dedicated trail rigs use these. These are a really good joint for the off-roader. We don't really recommend them for guys who are, you know, a daily driver. Every now and then I wheel it. Um, this is mainly for the off-roader. So that's what a hind joint is. They articulate like so. Um, there's like a little spherical ball joint in there and they have like a lining inside them that keeps them nice and lubricated. So um, they are consumable, you know, you're not going to put this on a rig and it lasts for the, the entirety of the rig's life. Um, you know, they're an open joint. They have their weaknesses, but they're also very, very, very strong. This is a 4130 heat treated chromoly and, um, you know, it's a really strong joint. So to understand a high misalignment spacer, you got to understand what you're putting them in. So that's what you're putting them in. Typically, when you're using high misalignment spacers, you're doing like some sort of control arm, um, some sort of uh, steering. That's typically what we see. So this is a control arm bracket. Um, this is a two and five eighths wide, which is the inside mounting width. So when you hear us at Barnes four wheel drive talk about mounting width on the phone, um, that's what we mean. There's a two and five eighths wide width in between these two bracket walls here. This Heim joint isn't just gonna fit in this bracket. As you can see, it's using the help of some spacers, um, and that is what we're going to talk about. Which spacers do I need to use at what time? Why do I need to use them? What's that spacer going to do for me? So, these guys here are the two types of high misalignment, or excuse me, misalignment spacers you're going to use. This guy is just your standard misalignment spacer. You will hear um, some of these. Uh, some people call these cone spacers just because of their kind of cone shape. But basically, all these do is give you your mounting width. That is their only job. So that mounting width that we just talked about with this bracket, this inside width here, that is what these do. Okay? They butt up to a heim joint. They don't insert into a heim joint. They butt up to a heim joint just like that. And... It doesn't give the hind joint any more articulation. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't change the bolt hole size. The bolt hole size is still going to be the same. All that happens is you get your mounting width. Okay? So that is this spacer's job. Nothing else. Um, so that's that one covered. Moving on is this guy. This is your high misalignment spacer. Um, this is obviously a little bit different than the guy here that we just covered um this is going to do the same thing it's still going to give you your mounting width as you can see here it gave this uh hymen's mounting width in this bracket but it also has a couple different different other jobs that are uh pretty cool and that are pretty useful so um as you can see if it'll focus there we go as you can see there's a machined part here and then kind of your cone style there and then there's this little lip so this spacer actually inserts into a heim joint and as you can see like if i take this bolt i actually think i have a 7 8 bolt here so if i take this 7 8 bolt and just put it in this heim joint the most articulation i'm going to get out of this heim joint is boom right there that's all i got okay because the bolt is now hitting 
the body of the heim joint, as you can see. Okay, so when we take our heim misalignment spacer, what this is actually going to do is this hole right here in the heim joint is a 7 8 hole. It is actually going to change this hole to a 3 quarter hole. So when I put two of these in a heim joint, now I have a 7 8 hole, or excuse me, a 3 quarter hole. So now I have a 3 quarter bolt. This was the bolt I was using. This was my 7 8 bolt. Now I have a 3 quarter bolt. I can now put this 3 quarter bolt into this hind, and boom, look at that. It fits. And not only does it fit, but it can articulate more. Because if you can notice, if you can see in here, this machined lip lets this travel past the body of the hind joint just like that so now this bolt in this heim joint has more articulation than it did before it's kind of hard <laughs> kind of hard to show you with my hands but you can kind of tell right there so now it's traveling past where it used to stop because of that machine lip so and then as you can see it gives you your your mounting width there so that's a two and five eighths width just like this guy down here in the bracket so that is the benefit of a high misalignment spacer versus a standard is you're getting a different bolt hole size which a lot of guys need sometimes and then you're also getting uh, your mounting width and you can articulate more so that is kind of the spill on these guys now does that mean that just because these have more features that you always should use these no um, not all of the time do you need that um, so like let's say you've got a tie rod like you're building a tie rod for your rig um, and let's just say you have a you know a set of knuckles on your rig and they're running a 7 8 bolt okay got a 7 8 bore and your knuckle uh, uh, you know a tie rod doesn't really flex like this very much you know it's just going knuckle to knuckle there might be some small movement in there but it's not much so it doesn't really need to articulate that much. So just get you a set of standard misalignment spacers, bolt it to the bottom of the knuckle, and then boom, you're good. Okay? You don't need you don't need all the high articulation. You don't need any of that. You just need a standard misalignment spacer to space it off of the knuckle a little bit. Um, that way it's not, you know, just boom right up against the knuckle. Um, and then you're good. That's all you really need. Now you'll notice that all of our steering kits come that way. They come with standard misalignment spacers for your tie rod, and then they come with high misalignment spacers for your drag link, because your drag link, let's say this is the pitman arm side, your drag link needs to, let me grab the other one here, your drag link needs to articulate because it is going to actually droop with the suspension. So your, <clears throat> your drag link needs this. Okay, it needs this articulation as it goes and up you know up through the suspension cycle so that's why you'll see our steering kits are set up that way is because you don't really need this much articulation in every situation you do in some so um, it isn't really a one-size-fits-all it isn't like oh these have the most features so I'm gonna use these for everything now um, that's not really the case so um, so yeah just keep that in mind um, as you go throughout your build it's not really just a one-trick pony um, there's a lot of uses for all of these. So let's dive into some more. Okay, so the only two we haven't talked about are these two guys. What are these? This is a safety washer. Um, a lot of people are very unclear about these. A lot of people will call these cone washers as well. So if you ever hear that, that's a safety washer. Um, a lot of people are unclear about what these do and what these do, if you'll notice, so it is pretty large around the outside and then it tapers down into a certain bolt hole size we have them in a couple different ones um, this one is a 7 8 I believe yes so this one's a 7 8 and so what this does is let's say that you're you've got a tie rod right this is gonna be on the bottom so you know we were discussing earlier you'll put a standard misalignment spacer let's say the bottom of the knuckle is where my fingers are it'll be bolted like that okay this guy is going to be your saving grace if you ever get into any sort of bad situation where your heim joint um, comes apart on you. Okay, so basically this is going to help you um, 
not lose a heim joint off of either a drag link or a tie rod. Um, any single shear application, which means that the heim joint is not being held on both sides like this right here, this is going to help you. So if somehow, some way, you had a crazy break to where the actual ball of this heim joint came out, this would not allow your heim joint to fall either off your knuckle or off your pitman arm, whatever the case, because this outer diameter right here is bigger than the hole cut in the body of the heim joint. So the heim joint may not be connected the way it should be, but at least it's not going to fall off and, you know, you totally lose steering or totally, you know, have a really bad break. So that's really all that this guy does. It's at your saving grace. It's going to go right here and it's going to save you if the ball of the heim ever breaks and then it's going to fall basically onto the the outer lip here so that's what that guy does this guy is the love child of these two you know high misalignment spacer safety washer this is a high misalignment safety washer so this guy um, does a couple different functions it's going to insert into the heim just like your standard misalignment spacer if i can put it in there straight and there we go um so it's going to insert into your heim it's going to give you that added misalignment like we talked about earlier with this guy and it is going to also do the same job that the safety washer was just doing so if you'll notice this taper here is much more severe than this taper here and that is because it is trying to get wider than the hole cut in the body of the heim joint. So again, if this spherical ball somehow comes out of this heim joint, and you know, let's say this is your pitman arm here. Let's say my fingers are the pitman arm, boom, it's bolted to the bottom. And let's say the ball of the heim joint breaks, comes out of there somehow, the heim joint is going to fall on this taper and it's not gonna allow it to leave. So your pitman arm might not be connected to a heim joint the most secure way, but it's still going to be there and you'll still have something. So that's kind of the case with these guys. Um, they'll save you on a really bad rainy day. All right. So again, I'm going to say it. I just know somebody's going to call me and say, I want those because those are the best. There is no one that is better than all. Um, they all serve different purposes. They all do a different job um, and they are all needed when it comes to building something. So, um, and keep in mind, we sell, we sell all of these, including Heim joints in many different sizes. So either figure out what your rig already has or figure out what you want your rig to have. You know, if you're gonna buy brackets from us, um, figure out what brackets you want or figure out what, you know, if you've got a Jeep or something that's already got stuff on it, figure out what that Jeep already has. Because we sell these, uh, you know, spacers and heims in many different mounting widths, many different bolt hole sizes, and we sell spacers for many different size heim joints. Um, and while that might seem overwhelming, all you've got to do is figure out what you want or what you already have, and then go on our website, comb through our inventory on there, and um, yeah, just kind of figure out what you need, and hopefully this video will help you do that. And uh, yeah, that's, that's really all there is to it. So yeah, guys, if you got any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time.